Hello all you beautiful people and welcome to my first ever video in the 1.20 update. We are still in the 1.20 snapshot but that didn't stop me from making this lovely cottagecore cherry tree house. This one's a bit on the larger side for the typical kind of build that I make video tutorials for but bear with me because there's a whole lot of really lovely stuff going into this project and if you like my builds, my voice, my editing or anything like that feel free to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and without further ado let's start breaking some ground here and build up this magnificent cherry tree house First thing you guys are going to want to do is find yourself a nice open area to construct this build. I just quickly kind of paved out a little flat space in this here cherry tree biome and I think this is going to do just fine. We're going to be starting things off with the actual tree itself and then kind of just carving in the house around it and there's two different ways to do this. What I did to build this thing the first time around was actually to grow an organic cherry tree from the ground here and then grow another cherry tree off the top of the first one. Of course not every cherry tree grows in the same fashion. I was very lucky to have two cherry trees that were both very long and flat so I had the one down here and then the other one up here. So if you're going to be going with the bone meal method then go ahead and do that right now. Try your best to get this kind of general shape going on but if you're going to be building this tree from scratch well I'm going to give you guys a quick little overview of how you would do that. We're going to have these six cherry logs and then I'm actually using nether brick slabs believe it or not. The color is very similar to that of the cherry tree bark so it actually works pretty well. I used quite a few in the build. Layer two is going to be a two by two of the cherry wood and then a slab over there. Just a heads up that this face right here is going to become the front of the tree. Layer three is one, two, three, four more cherry wood. On layer four, you're going to be branching out a little bit more here with one, two, three, four, five on the front. These are going to be rotated to the side. We're starting to make some basic branches here. One more log in the back and a nether brick slab. On the front for layer five, you're going to do one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Bring this out by one towards you. Then on the back, you're going to have a little bit of a diagonal thing going on there and one more block poking out like so. And at this point, you can kind of see the trees starting to go in different directions. And this is where it gets really complicated to try and like explain where each individual block is going to go. So I'm just going to show you where I'm putting down some branches. Going to bring something outwards just like that. Going to have another little guy curve upwards and down like that. Over on the right side, you're going to bring that out by one more block and this out by one more block as well. On the back here with this one solitary piece, we're going to do a slab and a couple blocks just to bring it out towards the back a little bit. Go up by a couple blocks, poke that out and fill that in. And now you can kind of see we got like a basic structure for a cherry tree going. It's definitely very long. That's kind of what we want. And then once you got your branches in place, I like to go through and just do a little pass with some hanging roots just to, you know, give it a little bit of extra detail on the branches. And before we put in the leaves, we're going to be putting in some basic kind of structure and foundation for the house. So starting with this little branch that's poking out on the front right side of the tree, this one right here, you can put a few fences. Going to break the middle too so you got something that looks like this. Can bring each one of them back by two. And then on top of each of these, you're going to do one, two, three stripped cherry wood on each section. Bring all of them out by one more block. Maybe a little bit more hanging root action for a good measure. Surround each of the stripped logs like so with some upside down cherry slabs. And this is going to be the platform that our house is built on top of. So now that we have a rough idea of like where the front of the house is, why don't we go ahead and put in the top half of this tree trunk. It's going to be like right about here and it's going to be a nice accompaniment to the structure of the house right here. Not only draping some leaves over the top and on the side, but providing space for a really cute little balcony. So starting from this funny little gap here we're gonna go up by one two three blocks make a little t-shape and another funny little t-shape just for good measure flipped around that way gonna bring that whole t-shape up by one more block one two three on top of that block slab block block upside down slab off of this slab right here we're gonna be creating another branch like so 
This middle guy right here is gonna go one, two, three, and one out. And this dude on the right is gonna go one, two up, one to the right, slab for good measure, and a little diagonal bit to kind of taper off the branch. One more log on the back side here. And now we have the kind of trunk structure for what would have been the secondary tree that was grown on top of the first one, but of course we just went and built them by hand. Of course all of this is going to get rounded out, but that'll all come in due time. I want to throw in a little bit more structure. Coming back to the front of the tree, starting off right here at this level where we got the one block poking out, we're going to go ahead and bring this out with a few upside down slabs and then bring it towards us. This is going to be the left section of the tree. Bring it down by a few blocks and we're gonna make this really nice little kind of like arc shape like a half circle maybe oh yeah don't forget your hanging roots on this section of the tree and folks, we've now got our two kind of like foundations in place. This is of course going to be for the main house and this one up there is for our cute little balcony. I want to finish off this little house bit right here, at least the general structure of it. So we're going to be taking this fence gate right here, bringing that back by one more block, throw on one more fence at the end and just like on the front, bring it back with the stripped wood like that. Same thing goes for the other two, we're going to be bringing them back like so. Leaving a one block gap right there, we're going to be adding in a little bit more balcony out the back of the house here. This is actually going to connect up to the top. Over this one block gap here, we're going to be doing four block tall kind of stalks of the cherry tree wood just like that. Go ahead and connect them on the top. Bring the side ones up by one block to make this kind of M shape. On the front side of the house, you're going to be doing basically the same thing, kind of inset two blocks from the edge here, but you're not going to have anything in the middle. On the outer edges of all four of these kind of like outer stalks here, you're going to do three blocks of the cherry wood like so. On the right side of the front of the house, go ahead and bring the slabs all the way back to connect up. Then just bring the slabs under here to fill in that strange little gap. I actually uh, misplaced a couple blocks right here earlier. You can go ahead and just break those. That's my bad. Unfortunately, this build is rather complicated and being that we're on a snapshot, I don't really have any of my normal building tools. So like Lightmatica and whatnot. On the back here, we're going to make this kind of connecting pathway that goes up to the balcony. So we're going to do one, two, one, two, just like that, that's going to be our first step. Then coming on in the middle here, we're going to have one more of these kind of intermediate steps, so that way the player can kind of hop on up here from the back door of the house. And now that we got a couple basic walls in, I kind of want to go through and just do a little bit of like house detail work, you know, the windows, the doors and whatnot. Starting with the back here, we can go ahead and put slabs up top, a stair block right there, trap door on the other side. On the outward facing wall here, we're going to kind of do this funny little design that I really like for making planters. Putting some grass in the middle here, stairs on either side, then two trap doors and a sign. On the inside we can do one, two, three stairs, some strip cherry wood on either side, trap doors in the middle, and then a funny little kind of arched windowsill with a couple stairs and a slab. This right here is pretty nice, I gotta say. And on the front here we're gonna be doing this really adorable kind of like hobbit hole style design. I think it'd fit really nicely to just have some stairs and trap doors lining the entire place like that. As you're walking in, you can walk through this really round little door. It's so cute, it's so quaint, and I just think it fits incredibly well with this project. Up on the top here, we're eventually going to have a cute little top floor, but for the time being, we can kind of just create ourselves a little window right there. Don't forget to mirror that on the back. For the interior wall that's going to go right here, this one is kind of facing the uh, the tree trunk, so it's not really going to have any windows. We're going to do a row of planks on the bottom, then two more rows of the stripped cherry wood like that. That's going to be a nice cozy little interior wall. Now to finish off the main structure, we are of course going to need a roof. Starting off with the kind of like the center bit of the roof here, we're going to do two blocks up with some cherry planks and then just go ahead and top that off with a couple stairs planks and stairs on the inside like that, and then one more row of planks, one more row of stairs, one additional row of stairs just above the other ones like so, we're creating a nice little diagonal slope here. Make sure you fill this bit in and then go ahead and put some planks on the bottom here. This is going to end up becoming another cool little like planter window box, kind of like this one down here. We're going to have another copy right about there. Line the top of the roof with a couple upside down cherry slabs. And then of course repeat everything on the other side. 
Just keep in mind that because this big branch is here, there isn't gonna be a window on this side, so you can go ahead and make the entire thing just kind of even across both sides. We don't need a gap in the middle. And then folks, we're gonna be busting out a little bit of crimson wood. You can see I've started the kind of roof trim over here. This is gonna be a little bit like a darker, more high contrast outline to this entire thing. It's gonna go great with the cherry wood and the cherry logs. As you saw, we're gonna be starting on the side here with this little bit of window trim. We're gonna have a row of stairs right here and then a couple slabs on the bottom here on both ends. Don't forget that it is overhanging by one block. Then starting right here, we can do cherry wood, stair, stair. Once again, cherry wood, stair, stair. Two more cherry woods like so and an upside down stair just to start covering up that gap a little bit. Toss a little lantern there for a little bit of light and detail. Can also cover every open face of the cherry wood here with a couple crimson signs just like that. One more crimson stair right there to line up with the existing cherry stairs. And then you guys know the drill, repeat on the other side. you should end up with something that looks a lot like this. And of course, don't forget about the back. I've got basically the same thing going on here, you know, a little bit of hanging root and lantern action just like on the front. However, you will notice that things get a little bit weird on this back corner where the balcony is. This is because if you extend the roof down all the way, the player has a really hard time jumping up and down between the back door and the balcony. So I kind of just smushed in this roof corner into the roof by a little bit. It's a little bit janky, but it's definitely the best solution. Then to finish off the roof details, I'm adding another planter box right here using the same design, oop, not that block, the same design as down here. Couple trap doors right there for good measure. Two pieces of stripped cherry wood on the top right there, and then we're going to line the rest of this with hanging signs. And now guys, this is the part that you've probably all been waiting for the leafage. There's gonna be a whole lot of leaves placed all across this build and frankly it would be impossible for me to tell you where to put every single block. So I'm gonna be doing this in a little time lapse for you guys. I got my alt account recording the footage of me placing the leaves exactly where they're supposed to be. I'm using a combination of of course the cherry leaves, some pink wool, and some pink lace terracotta but yeah just place the leaves wherever it feels right. And with the leaves in place, this build is really starting to come together. I love how this is turning out. The vibrance and the color and all the little different droopy bits all coming together really nicely. The textures are great. The little drippy particles are a really nice touch as well. And folks, we're getting close to finishing, but of course we gotta hammer out some final details. On the exterior side here, we're gonna be filling in these planter boxes with a little bit of foliage. I kinda already did this in the timeline just getting a little bit ahead of myself but you can see I've got some assorted plants and other random items in here using the new torch flowers and of course a cherry sapling. On the front here we're gonna have a little bit of a balcony and the entrance. I'm gonna go ahead and take out that block, put a couple slabs here, put another piece of cherry wood right there. Then I'm gonna be using some doubled up trap doors here to make a little balcony wall. Got one over there, got one over there and I'm gonna put one right here too. Where there is an exposed cherry wood face I'm gonna put up some signs put down a cute little cherry sapling and a lantern for detail. And going underneath with this block that we very conveniently left open at the bottom, we're gonna stack a whole bunch of cherry trap doors. This is gonna be our ladder to actually get up into the treehouse. Looking very nice. Gonna have a similar kind of treatment on the back here with one of those cute little torch flowers. More of that same balcony wall design like that. And then each one of these corners is gonna get a couple little trap doors just like that. Just to kind of make a little bit of a railing. You can see how we can walk up here very nicely now. Because it would be cute, we've got a little beehive right there. Toss in some bees for good measure. We're going to extend this balcony railing around on this side so we got some of those cherry wood right there. Gonna do two moss blocks. We're gonna put some plants there eventually. Don't forget your signs of course. And then to make this balcony work at the diagonal here you kind of have to get a little bit funky with the trapdoors. Some places I've got them double thick, some places I don't just in order to fit all the trapdoors in properly. You might have to mess around with it a little bit but it's going to eventually turn out like this. And like this on the other half. Gonna do a little bit more foliage right here and a lantern because we are underneath some blocks here so it's gonna be a a little bit dark without that extra light. And one more potted plant right here, just cause it would be cute. 
And wow, would you look at that, our house is really coming together. There's just two more little small sections we gotta take care of before we can call this build completed. One of which is of course gonna be the interior, but first I wanna tackle a cute little frog pond down here at the base of the tree. It's gonna be over here, kinda off to the side, and it's gonna be kinda like jelly bean shaped, kinda vaguely curving around the side of this tree right about here. So the first thing I like to do is just go through and do a little bit of texture mixing with the grass and the moss. Doesn't really matter where you put the moss, I just like to have that little bit of extra texture detail before I start working on the little pond. Then I'm gonna start carving out my space. Something like this is looking pretty good. Gonna put down a layer of coarse dirt at the bottom, not necessarily filling in every single block, but because it's a little bit further into the ground, I like to make the dirt a little bit darker. And over by the sides of the tree here, I think some rooter dirt would fit in very nicely, just like this going on through here. You can go ahead and fill up your pond. B no! And then of course we gotta add in some decorations. I'm gonna start off with a few sea pickles just to kinda, you know, get some light going on down in there in case you don't have any water, just make sure you've got everything all filled up with water. Seagrass can go pretty much everywhere, to be honest. This stuff is pretty great. Gonna throw in the occasional small drip leaf, just kind of barely poking out of the water. They look really nice when they're partially submerged, in my opinion. A few lily pads would look very nice. And last but definitely not least, a couple cute little frogs. If your tree has been surrounded by kind of just a blank barren field up until this point, it's a really good idea to go through and just add some more decorations now, you know, grass, leaves, cherry leaf petals. It's all really great stuff and is going to make the difference between a good build and a great one. And to end things off today, we're going to be taking a look at this interior. But before we do that, I just want to say thank you guys for sticking around up until this point. I know this has been quite a long video and quite a convoluted video. So so I just want to say thank you. Watching through to the end of my videos really does help me out like a lot in the YouTube algorithm. So if you're here, I appreciate you. You're awesome. And with a little bit of editing magic, this interior is going to materialize before our eyes. Looking pretty fantastic, I gotta say. And check this place out! We didn't have too much space to work with, it's really only a 5x5 area, so I really wanted to make the most of what we have. We got this cute little lounge area in the back with a double bed couch kind of deal. Got some light, got some decorative paintings, got a little table in the middle with a couple, you know, assorted things on it. Cleaned up the back wall over here, now our planters are properly reinforced on the inside. We can kind of poke our head out, get a good view of the landscape, smell the flowers, and if we turn around here, we're greeted with the stairs, or rather the ladder to the upstairs, and if we pop on up here, you can see we got a little bit of storage going on, you know, some crafting, some smelting, places to store your items, we've got a clock, we've got some spare tools, we've got our second planter box, and even up on the ceiling here, we've got a hidden little spore blossom, which is providing some of the lovely particles you can now see floating all around this cherry tree. And with that, guys, our cottagecore cherry tree house is completed. I I really do hope you guys enjoyed this build and this tutorial as well. I had a blast putting this project together, a blast editing it, and a blast recording it as well. So if you enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like on the video, and until next time guys, this has been Leon, and I'll see you all in the next Minecraft 1.20 tutorial. Take care you guys.